Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for pushing out the most powerful vibrations you possibly can. We're stepping into our power. We're embracing our gifts and embracing who we truly are. And which is a beautiful blessing for us to do because it's been so long that we've been walking around blind and truth that you know we need to acknowledge those gifts that been is bestowed upon us so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up telling me about your empathic gift or um, impact the gift that's been placed upon you and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or just good information that you would love to share with a family, loved one, or friend, I mean, family, loved one, or friend, or a fellow empath that truly needs it at this moment in time, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to this uh, meditation that's called Higher Self Activation Frequency, 741 Hertz, Miracle Tone, Spirit, Spirit Awakening, Intuition, Meditation Music. I like it because it has like this alien type thing on the front of it. Let me see if y'all can see it. You can kind of see the outline of it right there. But um, yeah, it, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, remember your thoughts and visions are co-creating your destiny. And they really, really, really are. Because right now, I told y'all, we're heading towards something great and beautiful. You know, we are wiping out everything that was like in our sleep state. You know, the 3D materialistic things. You know, we're, we're going on to next level to 4D, 5D. Probably higher dimensions than that. It just depends on where your, your thought level is. You know, it's like we're more advanced than we <laughs> than we knew no because we're in our human suit you know we're like these big ball of energy and it's just like right now we're we're feeling everything and it's just like sometimes we can become imbalanced and there are sometimes you know in our human state we think about worldly things we think about materialistic things especially you know if you're like in a financial bind right now especially with impasse you know when we wake we're in a waking state next to you know you get fired from a job or you're looking for another job or you know trying to be at the job that you're at and you're just like really miserable and there's something gonna you know something's gonna pop off and next thing you know you're gonna lose your job and you'll be kind of glad but then you'll be frustrated because then you're worrying about bills how am i gonna be able to pay this how am i gonna be able to pay that and it's just by the grace of god or whoever you pray to powers that be whatever it is helping you manage all these things because it's just like with me and my situation i'm not exactly where i want to be at right now but i love the things that i'm doing in my life because i'm co-creating things you know i try to stay in a positive light and there's sometimes it's hard to do that especially if you have really been through some really traumatic situations like with me it's like peeling back layers you know, I'm constantly forgiving and, you know, being, giving thanks to the things that, you know, have been placed in my life for me to be able to acknowledge that, okay, I went through this and was very effed up. But you know what? Look at look at the positive things that I'm coming out of this situation. It's just like with me being a motivational speaker, um, being able to put my life on that, that line of letting people know it's an open book, even though it's very painful of what the things that I went through. And, you know, which I really feel like a broken heart and being separated from your biological family is a mighty price to pay. But looking at all the positive impacts that I've been able to make in other people's lives to let them know, you know, you're not alone on the things that you suffer from. You know, you will heal from whatever has been thrown at you. It might take, you know, take time, but you're able to do that. You know, you don't need to be, sac you know, stuck in that dark spot being in that dark place that darkness wants to keep you comfortable in. and you shouldn't do that you don't you i mean you you need to allow yourself to be happy you shouldn't be sitting up there soaking and miserable you know being in a pity party you shouldn't do that because it's like you're not going to get nowhere being that way so you have to be careful 
of the things that you keep you know you keep going through in your mind because it's just like there's times where you know I have to when things come up in my life that you know uh, darkness is really making me like relive the things that my my father had my adopted father really put me through the things that he's done to me um, and which it was like the other day I just cried my eyes out like I bawled literally bawled it just said I'm tired I just want to let these things go but it made me face these things that you know what you need to let these things go you know they're bringing coming to the forefront but these are not things that you need to put aside and ignore that they didn't happen because when they come back it's gonna bring more power and more pain right along with it so you have to know that if you know you're heading towards something you know all these drastic things that happen in your life yes they happen but these are the things that are going to strengthen you these are the things going to have you come into your power you know it is it, it's, it's just like you know God will sit up here and put some things in your life to shake you up just for you to come acknowledging to the things that we were blind in you know it, it's just like it's crazy I'm just like I don't understand why we had to go through something so tragic just for us to find out what our empathic gift is but I guess it's just to help impact others in their life to let them know yeah we don't been through hell and high water but those things are gonna be the things that give you that strength give you that power to know you know yes these things were sent to break me you, you can either break me or make me and it can make you be the most powerful person you only didn't even imagine you can be and it is just like me going through the things that I went through I mean it's just finding out all the things that I didn't never thought I would be ever capable of doing you know and I always like I told y'all before if you've been with me for a while I, I love to help people um, being able to use my story to inspire somebody to be able to get them out of their their prison of darkness is is been a true blessing to me and just for me to be able to get line you know get uh lines of comments comments after comments letting people people telling me Rosalind you don't understand how much your videos has helped me understand the things that I went through you know I, I tell people all the time you are stronger than you give yourself credit for you really are you know and it's just like it's amazing when you can be able to sit there and say I'm not gonna let what happened to me defeat me you know don't allow darkness to win whoever did the things to you don't allow them to win I, that's why I have to tell myself this all the time I'm not gonna let my family know uh, think that they're gonna win me over they they wanted to break me in most worst powerful way but I'm not gonna allow what they did to me keep hindering me in this spot you know it's just like these things I can put out on the forefront yes I've been through these things I'm steady healing from them each and every day I'm not gonna allow these things to keep you know putting me in that spot well I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me I don't want anybody to you know I'm not coming out there to give attention but just to be bring awareness to the things that you are you have been there's been placed in your life and it's hurt you in the most traumatic way can bring about a person that has went from a negative spot to be able to turn this into a positive impact a positive outcome because the things that you know that you're trying so desperately to get to you have your wishes you have your goals you have your dreams you have your desires as strong as you can manifest negativity just think about how much when you put your that you know that same kind of energy you put in that negative situation that you've been put in to put that in a positive positive one can bring about so many things for you that's why I try to tell myself all the time when these negative things come out just be able to let that out be able to say okay this has happened but I'm getting over this I'm healing yeah you didn't you weren't able to do certain things in your life but guess what you're gonna be doing better things in your life whatever has been taken away you about to get something replaced with it a lot better I don't know what the road leads me I don't I don't you know but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep manifesting these things because if I know if my mind can manifest so many dark situations in my life and bring that dark aura around me just think about how much the positive parts are I have to be able to embrace that you know being able to embrace my dark side as well as my light side being able to turn my negative situation into a positive outcome these things we manifest you know if you know I because I, I said I want to be a, a motivational speaker I want to be able to help other empaths being be able to heal from the things that have meant to break them being able to give them understanding where people felt afraid of 
you know, because a lot of times we, <laughs> our gifts can really freak people out. I've had people just straight ignore me when I've told them I've talked to their dead loved ones and they know I'm not lying because from the things that I've told them, there's no possible way of me knowing. And that's a blessing, even though, it, you know, it has the downside of, you know, people shun away from you for that, but you're giving them that peace of mind to let them know there's more things out there to us than, you know, we possibly know. There's more things out there, you know, that, that communicates with us. So being able to embrace your gift, don't let what, don't allow what things were sent to break you in your life, break you into that person that you were not molded out to be you are supposed to be molded out of something that is powerful that is beautiful that's intriguing that fights for what they want you know not in a bad way but in a positive way making that vibration to be able to you know make things count for yourself so don't allow yourself to stay in that negative spot don't allow yourself to feel like you're never going to get out of your situation because you are that's all a state of mind you have to be into that situation until you can say you know what yeah, I'm in this situation now, but it's not going to always be this way. If I keep manifesting the love, the manifesting the positivity, manifesting the, po you know, the positive things I want in my life, you never know. You have to be able to have faith and believe in the universe is going to supply that for you as well as yourself. You just have to do your part. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to everybody. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know how you're feeling about that because I know we can really be in some dark spots sometimes, but we have to believe that we can get out of these as well. So um, much love to everybody. I'm going to give post notifications. Shout out to uh, Roxy1DJ. Uh, Norman Smith, an October lover, and Treasure Seasons. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day, and I hope everything is okay. Much love, peace, and be wild.